Hello, Libra. Okay, I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. And today I am going to do your career, love, life, health, and everything else in between. Love, did I mention love? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to talk about all of those things, okay? So, Libra. I mean, it's like these past few weeks has been, like, interesting, but... Hmm. It's like the first week of September is going to be a bit emotional, and I don't think you enjoy being that way. Like, you don't like being so emotional, and I think that situations may occur will, which will cause you to, I just see your emotions just like, you know, like, you know how you just hold something inside for so long that you just can't handle it anymore, like, you're just ready to explode, you know? But going into, like, that second week of September where we start to approach that new moon in Virgo, that is when you begin to have, like, a lot more clarity where you may find yourself to be extra judgmental, extra critical, you know? And so I just want you guys to just remember, you know, not to, you know, just kind of remember who you are a little bit, you know, because it's so easy to get so upset, but then how do you bounce back from allowing other people to intercept with your peace? You know, when you're at your best self and when you're at peace, how do you bounce back from that? When someone gets on your skin so bad and they frustrate you so much that you retaliate, you act out. You know, and I think that this energy is very similar for all of you air signs where it's like a lot of distractions, things that you're not really interested in is like trying to target you and you're like, no, but I just want to be happy. I just want to make my money. I just want to, you know, be successful. Why are all these things just going crazy? Like what's going on? And I just feel a lot of you just trying to get in touch with that this season. You know, how can I make things right? You know, I don't want to be that type of girl. I don't want to be that type of man. You know, how can I be a better husband? How can I be a better father? Like a lot of you are just really making some drastic decisions this season, okay? Especially when it comes to love, you know? I just, and that's probably why I felt that way in the very beginning. Like, are we talking about love? Because, excuse me guys, so I have allergies. So, I feel like this could be with, if not with a loved one, this is definitely with a, um, oh my god, my nose. This is not with a spouse, and this is definitely with a family member, or someone who just irritates the fuck out of you, okay? Um, keep in mind, there are some, I feel like, um... My allergies is really bothering me. I don't know why. Maybe it's the candle. You guys think it might be the candle? Hmm. Okay, something is irritating my nose. So, hmm. There's a lot of nosy people. Mm-hmm. Nosy people. Nosy people. Nosy people. People that just can't seem to mind their business. And I think that's why you're getting frustrated. A lot of people just can't seem to mind their business. They are saying things to you that they shouldn't say. You know, telling, trying to, anyway, tell you who to date, who not to date. For some of you, this is financial. You got people all up in your financial business telling you how to use your money and how to budget your money. And I think that overall, it's like, it takes a lot for you, Libra, to get frustrated. But it's like, overall, it's like, who asked you for your advice anyway? <laughs> like, I just feel like you guys are getting annoyed with someone, okay? Like, who asked you? You know, like, nobody cares what the fuck you think. Like, that's what I feel for you. <laughs> and I'm laughing because you guys can be very funny in that way. Like, when Libra people blow up, trust me, it's serious. Because it takes a lot to get them upset. So, when Libras are mad, trust me, something really, really must have pissed them the fuck off. Okay, so let's see your Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising overall career and life focus for the month of September. This is health, money, wealth, love. General, overall, love, and everything else in between, guys. Your spiritual health, your mental health, 
Okay, your emotional health. What is going on with Libra for the month of September, sun, moon, and rising? Be very cautious of that Pisces full moon at the very beginning of September, dear love. You know, because... Like I said, for a lot of you, this is going to be a lot of emotional energy that's been like, that you, it's like, kind of like what you put away, and then you're going to be like, <laughs> like, somebody's going to say the wrong fucking thing, and you're just going to be like, what? What the fuck did she just say? You know, like, it's like, I can't take it no more type of energy. Like, you're just going to blow the fuck up. So, just be very cautious of that Pisces full moon energy, dear love, okay? Now, going, like I said, going towards that new moon in Virgo, I do see things picking up a little bit where you are reflecting on a lot. You know, you may be thinking of loved ones that may have moved on. You may be trying to, you know, find the pieces to the puzzle, you know, misinformation, things that you never knew you going to be finding out things are going to be revealed to you in due time dear love so don't feel like you have to rush into a particular situation don't feel like you have to give up on a particular situation or a particular person everything is going to be revealed to you the way it's supposed to okay so look at this the two of water oh my god i love the two of cups so in traditional tarot deck dear love this is the two of cups okay and this is all about unity this is all about coming together you know, this could be just a positive resolution of a conflict. Maybe forgiveness is at stake. Um, you know, maybe compassion. Maybe you guys are signing a contract or just simply two people coming into some type of agreement. Like, you can agree to disagree. You know, like, you can say, you know what? That's your opinion. This is how I feel about this. You stay your side and I'm going to stay mine. I'm going to stay on my own end. Just don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Like, I just feel like you guys are just like you know, you're coming into this mature way of trying to deal with the situation. And you're like, you know what? No, it's fine. You go your way and I go mine. You know, you're doing it out of love and compassion because you don't want to hurt this person. So that is good, okay? Or this is not you per se, and this could be someone that you deeply care for, okay? Someone that you deeply care for may have been going through some emotional issues with someone, maybe a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, because this is water energy here. So it definitely could be either or. I think it's Pisces, though. Okay, but someone, if it's not you, it's definitely a water sign that you know that may have been going through some challenges, or you may be going through something with a particular water sign, okay? So, with that being said, I just see overall conflict being resolved. Once you both can come to a mutual agreement or a mutual understanding that your life is your life and my life is my life, you know, <laughs> don't try to tell me what to do or don't try to, you know, control me. I just see a lot of you kind of just standing up for yourself this season, okay? So... I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't really feel like too much this is Scorpio. I feel like this is more of, oh my God, you got a lot of water energy here. So I'm not, yes, guys, this is a lot of water energy. You even got the King of Cups here. So in tradition in Tarot deck, this is the King of Cups, okay? So the King of Cups is someone who is compassionate, you know, cares a lot about culture, someone who is well-respected, someone that's usually very honest and honorable, you know? Um... They just have a huge heart, and I feel like they just sometimes just go about things the wrong way, you know, but they, I feel like they mean well, but they just, they don't think things through carefully, and I think that's what causes a lot of the issues, okay, and this could be, I believe that this is cancer, okay, so for some of you, this may be an issue with the Pisces, for some of you, this may be an issue with the cancer, um, because this energy is very heartfelt, like it's very sensitive and very emotional. So yes, that, like I said, guys, that very first week and a half even may, because we're still going to be dealing with that. Like that first week and a half, we're still going to be dealing with that Pisces full moon, okay? And so that energy is very heavy on a lot of us. We're releasing a lot. We're talking shit. We're emotional. We're venting like a motherfucker. Like <laughs> we're finally saying what the hell is on our heart. So get ready. You know, get ready for some people to say things that to you that they shouldn't be saying. 
you know, if anything doesn't quite feel right, trust me, it must not be right. Follow your gut, dear love. Follow your solar plexus. It's not going to mislead you. And follow your solar plexus because your solar plexus represent, not your solar plexus, your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra represents your emotions, dear love. If you feel like you're extra emotional, go back to the root chakra. Go back to the root of the issue. Find out what is really causing you all of this pain. Why are you so frustrated, okay? So, guys, you also got the king of fire. There's a lot of masculine energy here, okay? So, this is asking that you take your place when it comes to standing up for yourself, when it comes to fighting for what you believe in, when it comes to protecting yourself and protecting your home and protecting your loved ones. You know, I just see you guys just standing up and just saying, I'm not doing this anymore. You know, I'm not going to allow you to keep hurting me. I'm not going to allow you to keep disrespecting me. I'm not going to allow you to keep using me. Like, I just see you guys just taking action when it comes to your boundaries, okay? So, let's see what else the universe has for you, dear love. Let's check your overall health, your emotions, you know, your finances. What's going on with your career? Because we see what your emotional life is like right now, but you know, I wanted to see, I want to look into your career and your health and your finances, you know, like that part of you. Okay, so let's see what the universe can provide us with. Thank you for showing me Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, overall career and life focus for the month of September 2018. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing me Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what the universe is blessing us with today, okay? All right. Oh, my God. What did I say in the very beginning of the video, guys? I said, remember who you are. Don't allow, you know, even if this is a work-related issue. You know, I see a lot of you standing up for yourself in regards to that as well, you know? But the good thing is you are overcoming difficulties. You are taking that stand. So the worst is actually behind you now. You know, if you look closely at this card, it's very beautiful. Quite a few signs have gotten this before. I think you have even gotten it before. So it's like you're coming up out of the troubles, dear love. You're flying away. You're getting away from all the things that once held you back. Look how beautiful that is. And Heaven is really, really guiding you. I mean, you're really being blessed with some tremendous abundance here, okay? Do you see that in the background? It's like, I'm so done with this. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. I'm not done with this anymore, okay? The worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. So open your heart and your mind to those around you. There is a relationship that is going to grow closer, whether this is a friendship, a partnership, a, you know, sibling relationship, or for some of you, this may even be just some type of family member. Um, for some of you, this could also be work-related, okay? You are a powerful, loving, creative person, okay? So use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. If you have been feeling like you have not really been that lucky when it comes to money recently, or if you feel like you're not really getting a lot of opportunities where you would have liked to, try to check your surroundings, you know? Maybe it's time to move forward. Maybe it's time to look for something better, something greater. Maybe it's time to look for a better job, a better career. Maybe you guys need to take a step back and go back into your hobbies. You know, I just feel like whatever you were going through in that previous job, you would not be going through on this new particular career choice or uh, decision. So uh, for those of you that would like to start a new business, this is a good time. I mean, the cosmic energy would definitely clear by the second or third week of September. It's going to be much better for you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like you guys will be able to think a lot more clear. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to do your overall advice. Call all of our archangels and God. Guardian angels, all of our ascended masters and all of our loved ones, all of our gods and goddess, spirits and guides. Thank you for guidance and reassurance. Thank you for showing me Libra, sun, moon, and rising overall career and life, overall advice. Thank you for showing me love. Thank you for showing me money. Thank you for showing me health and prosperity. Thank you for showing me abundance. Yes. Oh, that card came out for someone, so hold on. 
I just, whenever a card comes out, sometimes I like to reconfirm or, you know, make sure that that is your energy, dear love. Because sometimes the other side's energy could just be lingering around. So, really. So, the universe, the universe is saying that this situation will improve, dear love. Trust me, it's going to improve. I, like I said, dear love, I see a positive resolution of a conflict. Or you guys really just being a bit more open-minded. You're learning to communicate better. Even communicating your love for things or your love for a particular hobby. You're learning to just communicate better. And I think that is when the new moon in Virgo affects you intellectually. Because you're going to really sit back and think of, oh, I really always love doing this. I should get back in to that you know so it's like you're you're not afraid to communicate what you are feeling these days okay so that's really good but when it comes to any type of issues that you may be having in regards to money or any issues you you will be having in regards to health or love everything is slowly improving it's improving dear love a lot of you will feel so much better by that third week of september trust me it's so much better than what it looked like right now okay some of you are into arts, you're into painting, writing, drawing, you know, you may even be into like, um, what they call it, like poetry slams, like writing poetry, or some of you are just simply love music, you know, or this, maybe you just like want to be like a music teacher, or maybe you just want to be like a poet, you know, I just see a lot of you wanted to express yourself creatively, Okay, and so the universe is saying, look, look for a sign. You know, we are guiding you. You just got to be wise enough to pay attention to the different signs that are coming to you because they are coming to you. Visions, dreams, epiphanies. A lot of you might even have some lucid dreams, okay? And for some of you, people may come up to you and say little weird things. You may be like, aha, how did they know that about me? You know, like it may just kind of spark your interest a little bit. Overall, Libra, what I feel for you is not bad, okay? I think that what you're reading is telling me is that everything that you have literally that has been holding you back, making you feel like you have to suppress your emotions, anything that has been causing you any type of grief or pain or heartache, it's literally going to be just moving forward this season. Like, you're not going to have to go through that, at least not for a while, okay? So get ready, dear love, because you are going on the ride of your life, okay? So I love you, Libra. Thank you for tuning in. Please check out my website, www.g1insights.org. If you would like something more personally that maybe suit you better, you know, because this is a general reading, dear love. And so I understand that everybody's energy is different. Everybody has different things in their birth chart. So if you would like something more personally for you, go to my website, g1insights.org. Click the link and right here in the video. It should be either up there or right here on the bottom or something. Okay, so just click the link and let's chat. Okay, I love you, Libra. Bye. <laughs>